Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 38 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. So now we are in the final chapter of the main game. Uh, I have done some uh, Kara worlding, uh, not much. Uh, just got a few more ability slots for Kilia, I believe. Uh, a, couple, a few more for uh, Serafina, so she could equip uh, some growth rate uh, and XP. Because even if even if she only levels once, it's just better to have it on than not. Because um, I was trying to get more slots so they could equip better skills and whatnot. But unfortunately, unlike item world grinding, uh, Kara world grinding takes a bit longer just because it's kind of uh, random since you have to roll the dice and whatnot, and you do have uh, character world items uh, like these, forward by one, two, three, four, but I don't have a lot of like the high rollers. Uh, so, uh, and a lot of these are battle slots and like gaining turns, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, Where would you like to go, dude? Forgot to do the conversation. But I'm not going into that. Whether you laugh uh, or cry, this is the final fight, dude. Please return alive, everyone. My, what a commendable speech for a prinny. Of course. If you all died, then who'd pay our salaries, dude? Now, let's get going, everyone. It's kind of sad to think that this will be the last time we'll be working together like this. But it's not the last flip! Don't say such unlucky things, Christo! Oh, no. I, I didn't mean it like that. If we defeat Void Dark, then the Rebel Army will dissolve. Then everyone can go back home. That's true, Clip. Even if we win this fight, we'll all still split away from each other. Usalia mistakenly thought we would always be together, but we won't. Now I'm sad, Clip. Hey now, let's leave those gloomy thoughts till after we defeat Boy Dark. What's wrong, Red Magnus? I couldn't say this with everyone else around. Kilia, I'm really glad that we've got to meet and become allies. I was wondering what you were gonna say, but that doesn't sound like you. D don't make fun of me, I'm serious! Before I met you, I was super desperate because I lost my netherworld and my underlings. It was my fault. I just blamed it all on Void Dark and the Lost. I was too weak to face myself. But thanks to you, I was able to recognize my weakness, and I was able to grow from there. No. You figured it out all by yourself. We were just supporting you. Huh. <sighs> I knew you were gonna say that. After this fight is over, I'm planning on rebuilding Scorching Flame with Ponchos and the others. And then, I'll become a fine Overlord. The strongest Overlord! Yeah, I'm sure you definitely will, Red Magnus. But, there's just one problem with that. What problem? I still have to wrest the Strongest Overlord Championship away from you! I see. So that's what you meant. All right. If we get through this fight safely, I'll go one on one with the Supreme One. All right! You got it! That's a super promise, Kilia! Yeah, it's a super promise, Red Magnus. Okay. So now we're going to inner dark demise. Another will try in darkness. Once inside, you'll never escape. Yeah. Okay. So let's back out so we can do the events. So full team. Ultimate demon technique. Ultimate skill. Macrocosm. Its power is as mag its power is as magnificent as its name. Yeah, macrocosm is a pretty cool name for a move. I'll give it that. I uh, have to give credit to Kilia doing it. He saw it once. Right, if it was up to Zero, he would have misfired again, don't you think? I mean, he had... <laughs> shut up, you're right. Shut up. It may... He would, because he came into a video holy water by himself, so one would think he can't do the ultimate skill also by himself. Uh, so Kelly has mastered the ultimate skill, then Boy Dark is going to be a piece of cake. 
It's not an opponent that can be defeated so easily. I bet, I bet, but it wouldn't hurt to have some confidence. He's right, Bless rest his life to teach you the ultimate skill, so it definitely has to be effective. Yeah, you're right. Is something bugging you, Plip? And I use the ultimate skill, it felt a little different than the other skills of the ultimate demon technique. I think that instead of using my heart, it receives the hearts of my allies and charges it into an enormous power. Hearts of your allies, what does that mean? I don't understand the theory, but I believe he's saying our feelings of wanting to help him increases the power of the ultimate skill. Does that mean if our hearts become one and we support Shakelia, then the power of the skill will increase even more? You guys are willing to lend me your power? God, it's like the spirit bomb. Uh, you don't even have to ask. I'll always be on your side, bro. If you have my support, you'll be super invincible. If my will adds to your power, then I'll lend as much as you want. I am confident that my feelings towards the Achilles are much greater than anyone else's. Well, uh, that confidence. Well, let's all join together and defeat Void Dark. You guys, thank you. That was a nice one. Oh, some more. But uh, I do want to show that. Content. I did also put up the stars. Put it up to nine, so now we're on really strong. Uh, and I'm gonna save, because it's always good to save after you do cutscene or two. Yeah. So, uh, super universe, now I'll train you, Lulu, so br just bring it. So I got stronger too, I'll never drag anyone down, Plip, murmur of rage. So, going, <laughs> going against like a super titan guy, against like a demonic bunny. <laughs> That's right, Lulu, this is a super excellent overload, shows the way of an entire netherworld. If your overload skill is super crazy, you can super feel the waves of your fighting spirit pulsating. For Magnus, please don't hold back. So now they're just testing overloads, basically. So super fun. Cut away. Guys are training too. Watch me, bro. There's the true power of the air to the ultimate demon technique. Su super luminal wolf. That, that one's also a hard name to say. True Brianite gaze. There you go. Alright, is there a gun? No, it's a <laughs> Fina Ray. Uh, standard. Looks like he isn't. Shake. Rough. He's a dog. Rent. Rough? No. Don't play dumb with me. Pay up, you stupid dog. Hey, don't get so close to me. I'll shoot ya. <laughs> Can't tell whether they're training or playing around. Uh, probably playing around, more likely. Um, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, gonna go into... Where would you like to go, dude? The next fight, because I do want to get through most of it. Floor of Darkness, let's go. It's gonna be good. Celia. What is it, Usalia? I want you to promise Usalia one thing, Flip. A promise? You too? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. So what is this promise? Don't risk your life to protect us, or to defeat Void Dark. Please don't do any of that, Flip. I'm well aware that you have a grudge against Void Dark, and Usalia knows that getting revenge for Lise is all that drives you. I too thought it didn't matter if I died as long as I got revenge for my parents, so Usalia understands how you feel, Flip. But I'm different now. I want to carry on my parents' will and rebuild Toto Bunny to make it a paradise for demons who prefer peace. You see, you guys were the ones who gave me that life goal, Plip. So, so, please don't die, Kilia, Plip! Please don't die, huh? That's a lot of pressure. Kilia! I know, I know. I don't plan on dying during this fight. You know, there was a time, after I lost Lise, when I thought my life was worthless. It's true. But you guys helped me change, by becoming my new family. Kilia! I don't intend to fight recklessly. I'm gonna fight to protect those who are precious to me. Then it's a promise, Click. Yeah, it's a promise. Awesome. Let's go! Okay. 
so we have a couple people that we'll probably have to get to by throwing. So I want to take the long way around. This one isn't too bad. Okay, so we're fighting against like level 300 people. Maybe I can bump it up a little bit more. Let's go. Huh. Uh, or maybe a bit more. Macro cost. So ultimate demon technique, ultimate skill. So I want to make sure I level this up. I'll. Uh, I'll definitely. Who cares be, about um, being poor? Yeah. What do you call it? I do like her gun. It's just a battleship. Uh, I will definitely be. Uh, no. I'll get super reckless. Uh, what up? I'm going to keep like Let's my words go, just don't work. I don't know why. Yeah. What I up? will definitely Leave it to me, I, uh, yes. use mana you. to upgrade the move so it costs more to use. That's there it is. Those are the you. words that I was thinking and just could not for the life of me remember. Like holy crap, my I thought my brain was dying with how not much work my brain could do. I don't, I don't know why that was so right hard to there. get out. I have no idea why. Like, I was getting concerned. I was like, what is wrong with my brain? Like, why is it not? Simply, why is it not? Oh, it even turns into his ult. Ultimate demon technique! Ultimate skill! Macrocosm! It hurts! Let me oh, thank you. Yeah, it hurts! That's right. It hurts! Don't overdo it! Yeah! <laughs> so those guys all oh, match change into sicknesses. Phoenix Valor, we've seen that. My true power. Um, yeah, I would think I want to. But I would rather also just, you know, kill them all. Uh, but I do need to level it up. So. Yeah. do is this. I wish there was like a jump mechanic, other than the one that's already there, where it's just like, hey, if you have this amount of jump, you can jump over over gaps. Because I think that would be pretty nice. There isn't, but I would like it. Um. Yeah. Mm, to the center. Really? God, I, I don't know why that that one is, has such a better range. It hurts. Yeah. Meteor. <laughs> How about bullet. it? Okay. Oh yeah, I meant that guy's thing there, huh? How about it? Worried. Whoop. And you don't like fire, yeah. so that is perfect. I have just the move for you, sir. Would you be interested in uh, sampling my wares? Oh, uh, you don't want to do a counter, dude. You're going to kill yourself. Um, Kill you there, so you can use macrocosm yeah. one more time to finish him off. Because now he's at higher level, less SP needed, the better. All men are my servants. Uh, I do not want to skip the demo. Because plot. Kilia, we're almost there. Yeah, finally. I figure I should confess this to you. I'm actually an ain't. You're Christo, the overlord of certain giant. And you're our ally and chief tactician of the rebel army. Isn't that right? <laughs> I am no match for you, Kilia. Thanks to you, my sense of values has completely decayed. 
Without a doubt, you've shattered my stereotype of demons. Maybe our values differ, but demon or angel, there's no difference in the amount our hearts value our allies. I myself learned that while spending time with you guys. There's no difference in the amount our hearts value our allies, whether we be demon or angel. I was betrayed by my colleagues in Sole... <laughs> I mean, certain giant. They framed me for being a spy for Void Dark. So to prove them wrong, I decided to assassinate Void Dark all on my own. But looking back now, maybe I was the one who betrayed my colleagues. I considered myself better and smarter than everyone else, and looked down on my colleagues and superiors for being idiots. I didn't cooperate with them, nor did I thank any of them, and I never accepted them. I guess it's not surprising that my colleagues disapproved of my behavior and accused me of espionage. Christo. I learned a lot of things after coming to this world. If I'm able to return to my world, then I plan to apologize to my colleagues and superiors from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about this to someone. As expected of you, Kilia. You're a demon that's not to be underestimated. Please pretend like you didn't hear any of that. Will you promise me? Yeah, of course. I promise. So you can uh, see where it's going with all of it. Like, oh, he's meeting with each of his team members and they're all making some sort of promise. And I really like it. Let's like, okay, fix cool. you up. Um, okay, I think I can bump up the... Cheating's the best! Cheat shop a little bit. Let's bump it up to 11. And then... Go over here. I don't need weapon mastery all that much. Uh, don't need money, like at all. So I'm going to just bump special skill XP. That way Macrocosm can be as powerful as possible. Me? While also still, you know, keeping it decent. Okay. Yeah, I'll have it be like 1,000 per use, because 2,000 per use is a little bit like iffy, because I'm not even at 20,000 yet, so I won't even be able to use it 10, <laughs> ten times. <laughs> Get 3,000 as a write out. Um, but yeah, this is what I did. I just went through most of my moves and was like, okay, like what ones are super low? Like I could do this one, but I'm never going to use Phantom Blow. Uh, uh, so I might actually just like lock it, so I don't have to see it. Um, but, uh, her, hers isn't bad. Top shot should probably walk out, just to be better. Um, try bullet. That one can be bullet a couple times. This try bullet is, like, home dog, like, really good ability for gun. Orchestra, yeah, I'll be up to 700. Um, I want to bump you, but you're a little too much right now. Like, you you don't have enough SP for me to use you comfortably. But I'm not even going to be using you guys all that much, but I might as well bump you. I'm, I'm rather fine with the combo attacks being in the thousands, because you don't use them that often. So when you do use them, you want them to be really good. Uh, I would... That one's also a combo. So, yeah, I'll kind of... I'll, I'll stick to my guns, have the combo be really good. And I'll bump you up, because you just need it. Red Magnus. See, Red Magnus is the uh, SP uh, low guy still, so it's rather pointless to bump him. Okay, so let's save once again. Okay, and then we can go over what? here, check out the research. Um, they're almost all complete. We got a couple more ongoing. Um, 
112. Just figured out we'd go through here. Um, yeah. <sighs> okay. So I'm trying to get microcosm. Where would you like to go, as dude? High as possible. Well, also, oh, figuring out what enemies, like the, what star I have to be to have the enemies at about my level. Hey, bro, I actually have a dream. A dream? Yeah. I want to spread the ultimate demon technique. Instead of hurting people, it teaches them to protect others. Why would you do that? Master taught me, a cowardly weakling, the ultimate demon technique. Even a good-for-nothing kid like me was able to come close to being a man, thanks to Master and the ultimate demon technique. You're wrong, Zoroken. You're already a man. Compared to you, I don't have nearly enough experience. But still, there is something I can do. Even after this fight, there will still be arguments. There will always be someone else crying somewhere. I want to help as many people who are crying as possible, even if I can only help one of them. In order to protect those who are precious, I want to open a dojo and spread the ultimate demon technique. A dojo for the ultimate demon technique. I is that okay, bro? I think you should. If Goldion was still alive, this would have made him happy. That's something I could never do. The one who will pass on the ultimate demon technique will be you, Zoroken. Bro... But... I'm worried if I have to do it by myself. Come help me sometimes, as an honorary coach. <laughs> if I feel like it. No, you definitely have to help me! It's a promise, bro! And there we go, another promise. Let's go! But when he started saying dojo, it reminded me of the uh, a Family Guy skit where uh, Joe gets his legs back, or his, his legs start working again, and I have to. Uh, there you go. Put him all in order. But he's just like, there will be no weakness in this dojo. Okay, so this is where I should probably stop bumping people, because he's not one-hitting them anymore. Which means no one else on my team will be one hitting them. Unless he's just not one hitting him one hitting them due to uh, resistance, but I don't believe that is so. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going Let's go down. go go! Just a wee bit. Here. Let's try first. Side. I'll never let anyone feel pain. Magnus, monkey cannon. Huh. Uh, I don't have any boosting. Nice. So, gonna defend. Okay. I'm not too worried because. They have the uh, curry effect. So. And because I have the skills going. It hurt you! Most likely gonna skill up for a, a little bit. <laughs> I think that's rather comical. She's like, yeah, I'll I'll charm him. Super! Get in the cannon. <laughs> Uh, hey. They're so elaborate for no reason. Super! Oh, crap. You. Yeah, you counter. Damn. I was hoping for a few more counters. Um. Yeah. Here I go. Oh, God. I am so dumb. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, I'm actually just gonna have Pram proc in the back. 
see if he can do some rando damage. I'm sad. Because that's all he's got. Oh, crap! I'm sad. Yeah! He's defended. Oh. He's resist. A mega fire. Yeah, we've seen him. That's the one with the, uh... Yeah, the baby bird girl. Oh, and, uh... Oh, Phoenix. Oh, do it. Oh, do it. See, I wanna. I really should uh, keep going through the character world. The annoying thing is, uh, especially for her second, sorry, uh, or I should just move her abilities around so she can have the death wall of charmed units. Just because without it, they're rather useless. Because so like you charm, like so you control a unit. It's like the unit's not going to be super strong. Like it's probably not going to be over level for you. Let's end this. Higher shell. Huh? Oh, push me back. I'm going back. How dare you do that? Well, not how, but. Yeah, let's do that. Right there. Like this. Kill you. Um, yeah, overload. Oh yeah, that's a long. True. Bring an act game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move them all within range. doing that because it would be fun to see it. All the stuff just go like, oh yeah, look at them attacking each other like idiots. And Teresa is you. That's one nice thing about it proccing, like even after I've done something. Boink. And now that's gonna be super awesome. Some more. Oh, I just love how it's just like all combos. Ultimate oh demon God, technique! So ultimate skill! Macrocosa! He just did almost 200,000 unit damage by himself. And now... Um, Let's go! And might as well level up a video holy water. Uh, I don't need you out anymore, because I don't want you accidentally okay? uh, killing that sage. Uh, it hurts. Thank you. 159. Oh, crap! Okay. 
so... I'm actually curious. Is there a combo move with you? Combo move... Yes. Almost kill. But I'm sure that it would kill you. So what I'm going to do is abuse movement. Because I do want to level up as many moves as possible. Oh, so close. I'm not sure if you've seen this one before. I feel like we have. But. I may have not. Everything is about to come to an end. Yeah. Soon our fight will be over. Overload skill. True Brianak gaze. <laughs> Sir Kilia, what do you think of me? I think of you as my precious ally. Huh. As expected, Sir Kilia's heart is full of unwavering feelings for Lise. I am confident that every man will kneel before me. But it seems you will never be mine, Sir Kilia. Serafina, I... Please don't say anything. My pride won't allow myself to receive any pity. But let me say this. No, let me promise you this. When this fight is over, I'll restore Gorgeous's ranking as the richest netherworld in all the three worlds. And when I complete that task, I'll appear before you once more, and make you become my servant. <laughs> you don't have to get so attached to me. I'm sure there's a suitable man for you out there somewhere. The heart of an innocent girl is bizarre and complex. The harder something is to get, the more it makes my heart race. I'll definitely claim your heart. That is a promise, Sir Kilia. That's a one-sided promise. But, I guess that's really your style. Yeah, so there's just uh, Kilia being a uh, female cock blocker. And like, nope. Nope, you never get in the D. That's not something you're ever getting. Okay. Let's fix you up. I'd say we are doing pretty good in terms of where we need to be in terms of stars. Um, we have a lot of curry. Um, how's our skills looking? Let's go. Combo skill, really? Team and Star Breaker, like that was, it was so weak. Is it just because Red Magnus isn't all that strong? Might as well bring you guys up. You guys into the 400 range, because there's a lot of, there's just a lot of it. I have so much more mana. It's great. Like at the beginning of the game, you're just like, oh, I don't have mana to do like anything. Like, no, I can't. How am I ever gonna get to it? And then like the further into the game you get, it's just like, yo, I have more and more and more. It's great. It's awesome. Like, this game really makes you just feel like you've improved. Like, like boom. And I'm just enhancing the range. Like, it's nothing. Whereas at the beginning, if you remember, it was like, oh, I just don't have enough. I don't have enough mana. But now, it's so much better. It's so much better. Whereas hers, it took a bit. Um, 
mean, I don't really use magic all that much, but you know what? Okay, so now her, her mana's running a little bit low. And I don't even want to, like, increase the boost of it, because then it's costing 2,000 per. And I'm already, I have the range completely done. I might actually put her in the mana squad so I can enhance the range on some of these moves. And the power. Of course, I haven't. I don't, I think if I have reincarnated, I think I've reincarnated Zeta, Metallia, and Peta only once, along with Pram. Where's the others? I think I did it a couple times. Um, so, let's save. And I'm gonna check out the strategy assembly. This this episode may run long, because as I said last episode, I want to... Uh, I want to get to, like, right up to the final map. Uh, and then have that be its own episode, this along with, it. like, all the ending stuff. You little shit. So, you little this episode shit. runs a little bit long. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it, because I have had, like, uh, over hour uh, episodes. Like, only a few minutes, though. Never been a lot longer than awesome. an hour. But, I'm not worried about this one going, like, two hours or anything. That would just be abysmal to render. <laughs> uh, well, to export into a uploadable format. Um, one thing that I do whenever I'm, like, uh, now that I like have, go, like, a backlog of episodes in their final uh, form and whatnot is, uh, usually while I'm recording an episode, I'm also uploading videos on YouTube just so it's, it's not separated, because it's using two different aspects of the computer. Void Dark is just beyond here. But it's unusually quiet. Maybe he got scared and escaped. Unfortunately, that isn't possible. That means this is the super calm before the storm. Void. They allowed garbage like you to intrude this far. Why do I surround myself with useless peons? Void, you... Why are you so upset? Because that useless old man died? You constantly bring nothing but misery to others. You! It's all your fault! Don't bark at me, you little whelp. I'm sorry, I don't have time for you. I have an important ritual to attend to. An important ritual? Overload skill. Broken faith magia. These are... corpses! Uh, huh? Why is Void Dark able to use Majorita's overload skill? Void's overload skill, Brigante Eclipse, has the ability to take other overloads, most likely. No! Could he...? Majorita! Ugh. And take advantage of your henchmen? How super low are you? Void Dark! You're not the strongest overlord! You're the worst overlord! <laughs> Say whatever you like. I'll do anything to complete this ritual. Void, wait! Majorita! Majorita, who I despise so much, turned into this. We can't save her. The best we can do is help her rest in peace. Majorita turned out to be just another victim of Void Dark. Everyone, let's put her to rest.
Okay, so that entire sequence was essentially to show, like, oh yeah, Void Dark is really quick. an asshole. Like, more so than everybody possibly thinks. And to show that we get to have another Madrita fight. Because why the hell not? Uh, okay, so this... This is a little bit interesting. Oh, it's no entry, that's why. I was wondering, like, why... Why is this big, long out outro path uh, here? But that's that's why. I am actually interested, though. So, it's still Madria, but it's a corpse. Okay. Madria, after Demon Emperor Void Dark killed her and took her overload, she is losing her memories from her life. Okay. So I was wondering, like, maybe they just changed her palette and put her in and didn't change anything and left her overload. But they did, they did keep it. Draugr King. I don't think we ever saw that. Because we killed her too fast. Uh, you'll be able to dual wield with main weapon and sub weapon. Um, yeah, I thought maybe like, oh, they didn't, uh, they didn't check for this part. No, they did. They actually were very careful in how they uh, did everything, which I really appreciate. Oh my god, I keep forgetting! I keep forgetting! Here I go. <laughs> I'm so dumb! No, I'm actually gonna put you even further into the base of the thing. So that's six. He has five. Here I go! Damn it. Okay. You. I want kill ya. Hmm. I understand, like, this probably isn't, like, the most right there. Uh, effective use of throws. Like, if I had Killy at the top, because I even upgraded his hmm. throw, it would be better. Yeah. But the reason why I want this is because, Fly away. you know, Killy can just do stuff so much better than other, certain other people. And I do need to take care of these bitches. Um, well, near Megastar, Wind, what Megastar, super reckless. Cool, Pirate Shell. Let's go, go, go. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh, crap. You. As long as I have my yeah, powers, on. we are super safe. Great. Um, will you actually be able to? Which are good, because I want to get rid of the. Uh, No entry spots. Yeah. Okay. So rising gale kick. Yeah. Rising gale kick. Yeah. Oh, him down. Yeah, they actually resist that. I guess I'll just try to rest you. And then... Yeah! Uh, I can... Explode Tiger. Gospel of Power can hit, but uh, some of the other ones can't. And I'm gonna actually have Rosalia come out this way once the no entry is taken care of. Spin.
to increase your intelligence. I feel like there should be. Because there are the orbs. And I don't mean like these. So I could put on the test. But I'm wondering, because it doesn't seem like they're just items that increase your intelligence. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll use time drive. Hope it... Well, I mean, it's gonna crit. So, I mean, I don't have to worry about it all that much. Even worrying about it is probably not the right word. Good job. Yeah, let's take care of those guys. Here go. <laughs> take care of them. Okay, so now I don't even have to worry about her resing people, which is nice. Mega star. Oh, crap. Not worried about it. Another oh, buccaneer. Megastar, Megastar. Megastar. Oh, Say what move you were doing. Should be interested. Charge the power. Yes, I'm guessing the move is called Rebellion Breath. Yeah, crap. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there it is. Oh, because he didn't oh, want to use it twice. Oh, okay, I'm deck circle. You. Counter, counter. Huh? Okay, so I'm gonna take the opponent boost off that. Go! Yeah, need to find where it uh, goes. Yeah. Macrocosm, or microcosm, or whatever the hell it was called. Like, I've had my own personal uh, hatreds of it because of the, uh, the incessant, incessant uh, crashes. But overall, I'd say this has been pretty good. And I'm just saying this because we're getting to the like, final stuff of the final chapter. Of course, still have the DLC to go through and whatnot. But I feel like, as I said in previous episodes where I warned against it, uh, the DLC is based after the final chapter. Not to give any spoilers of it. But it's more based after, along with all the epilogue stuff. Um, that's why uh, I'm going to do the DLC after it. So, even after we do the final like mission, final map, it's not going to really be our final map or final episode. Because one of the big things about no. Disguise Complete no. is that it comes with all the DLC. No. All the stuff that you uh, had to pay for in the previous version separately, which I gladly did because I love these games, uh, it is now uh, included. 
which uh, I actually like because, as they were saying, uh, well, as they were saying, uh, Reggie Filomena, or Filome, or however it's pronounced, uh, the head of Nintendo America was talking about uh, like bringing games from the Wii U and whatnot, like uh, talking about uh, like porting them and how it's like, yeah, like we'll we definitely consider like importing it, but we don't want it to just be a port. We want it to be a uh, like some sort of improvement. Like you add you add the keep the DLC, you add stuff to it. And I kind of like that, yeah. uh, but there are otherwise some examples of it where I don't particularly like it. Because there's certain games where I'm not sure how they would make it better, or even how they would put it on the system. But I would like if they simply uh, like just ported it. Like they don't need to add anything. I just want to play the game because I didn't have a Wii U. Of course, that's by my own choices. I didn't buy one. But that's because I didn't really want to buy one. Really thank you. But there were a few games where it's just like I would really love to play this game, but I'm not going to buy the system for this game because they weren't that important to me. They weren't a Pokemon. They weren't a Smash Brothers. Although there was Smash Brothers on the Wii U, but I already had the Wii U one. I'll show you my true power. Other people's houses, but uh, like the game, the game I'm specifically thinking of talking about is, uh, is oh God, what, Tokyo Mirage, Tokyo Mirage Sharp F8, where it was the highly like, uh, look forward to uh, SNT Cross Fire Emblem game that we didn't really have any information on until it came out. And it looked really cool, and I really wanted to play it. But, unfortunately, it only came out on the Wii U, and I really wanted it ported, because, like, I feel like most of the Wii U uh, exclusive games should be ported, just because they didn't really get any time to shine. Like, the Wii U was a good console, but it wasn't... It wasn't a very success. It was not a successful console. So all the games on it, I feel like, are sort of given an injustice. Because how is a game supposed to have a lot of sales when the console itself doesn't have a lot of sales? And that's one of the challenging parts about all the Wii U ports, where like the game didn't perform well, but the console it was on also didn't perform well. So how can you make a? Uh, like a straightforward mark. Like, say, like if the game didn't perform well on like the 3DS, then it didn't perform well because the 3DS is a very popular console. If the game didn't perform on PS4, same same aspect. PS4 is a very good selling console. But stuff on the Wii U, you have to take it with like a little bit more than a grain of salt because of its less than stellar sales. Did we do it? Whoa! More of them just super showed up! Damn it! One after another! Then, bro, your ultimate skill! No, he can't. There are too many corpses. It would take too much energy. I agree about saving Sir Kilia's energy. But if we can't get past these corpses, then we won't be able to move on. Uh, it would be great to have reinforcements at a time like this, Flip. Ninja Rabbit Technique! Explosive Carrot Formation! You, you guys! Why did you come to such a dangerous place, Flip? We can't allow ourselves to shake in fear from a safe location while the overlord of our homeworld, Toto Bunny, is fighting Plip. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Looks like you're having some trouble, Master Red Magnus. Honchos? And you guys? Why? Didn't I tell you we'd help you one day? Well, today's the day. Honchos? <laughs> That's quite super clever of you, Ponchos. Huh? Are you crying? No! I'm not crying! Hey, please don't forget about me! the most cowardly of cowards, came all the way into enemy territory. This must be a dream. Your doubt is making me sad. I overcame my fear to send off my only loving daughter for her big moment. <laughs> I'm joking around, father. This is the coolest I've ever seen you. Serafina. Lord Void Dark, where are you, Lord Void Dark? Mera? Angels, an army of angels are invading Mera. Angels. <laughs> Why are you all looking at me? Hello? Yoo-hoo, Christo! How you doing? Hey, what's this all about? Huh? Why do you sound so mad? I heard that an army of angels have begun invading. Oh, yeah, that. Hmm, that's odd. I, I thought you'd like that. Why would I like it? Are you trying to get rid of us along with Void Dark? Uh-uh-uh. Why do you always have to take things the wrong way? What? So that's not what you're doing? The truth is, ever since we canceled the launch of Armageddon, we've been watching you closely. Through this and that, we were able to observe the growth of your heart and the feeling you have for your allies. What? Everyone was moved by it. Even those who spread rumors about you being a spy cried and reflected on what they'd done. We wanted to help you, so we came. Uh. Hmm? Are you, by any chance, crying, little Christo? Thank you very much. Doing this for someone like me. Uh-uh. It's just a gift for growing up. Stand tall. Who was that call from? It was just a wrong number. Now, everyone, leave these guys to us and go find Void Dark. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so we get to see... Okay, farthest end of fate. I feel like this is the final chapter. It should be after all that. But I do like how you finally see like everybody's homeboys, like all the people that they had been with, Let's fix you like up. the yellow printies and stuff. We're all just like, yeah, we're all we're all here for you, bro. <laughs> we we got you. Okay, what are you talking about, printies? Kill you, please accept our gift. These sardines. We know better than anyone how hard you guys uh, been working to defeat Boy Dark, dude. But we're weak and won't be able to help you fight him. So we want to support you this way, you guys. Please don't be humble and eat it, dude. That's two whole months worth of salary. We saved up just for this occasion. I want you to turn energy for the rebel army, dude. Got it. These sardines, I'll gladly accept your warm feelings. What? You're gonna take them, dude. <laughs> Is that not supposed to? <laughs> Jenny Seeking, you're supposed to say, I'm full from just your warm feelings to something and deny them, dude. I don't really care. To begin with, I'll start with periods, offer them to you. Don't be humble now and just take them. <laughs> 
All right, I'll take them. <laughs> mm, dude. <laughs> I'll just accept your feelings. Thanks, man. Uh, that That's funny. I like that, where it's just like, um, can you not accept the sardines? Can you be like, nah, like your support's enough? Like that that's really funny where they're kind of expecting like him to deny uh, them. Ah, uh, okay. So what what what's the group have to say? Kelia, I wanna check something with you. What is this all of a sudden? I'm trying to get revenge by defeating Void Dark, isn't that right, Clip? Isn't that obvious? Even I super understand that. You've been fighting all this time to get revenge for that Lee Zeko, right, bro? <laughs> hey guys, my name is... Uh, my voice is cracking because I got shit in it. Uh, it's true that I only thought about revenge on account of all the anger and hatred that was swirling around in my mind. I was living this life to get revenge. I might still think that somewhere deep down in my heart. But now that I have irreplaceable allies, I'm fighting for the future that lies ahead of me. That's how I think. I want to join forces with you guys and take back the Netherworld world so that no one has to suffer from Void Dark. That's my wish. Mm-hmm, we can't lose after hearing that. Circelia and the future. Just imagining it makes my chest warm. Peaceful Netherworld is boring, but it's a million times better than letting Void Dark rule the entire Netherworlds. Now we can put our hearts together and fight Void Dark. Yeah. Everyone, let's all return safely. So that's basically just saying, yo, this is your final fight. Uh, you better get your shit prepared. Uh, and I can recruit the Dragon King. But I need one Fire Emblem weapon. There you go. Ah, uh, that's... Where do you see the element of it? Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Boom. Now, I believe the only thing I can't, uh, recruit is... Oh, there's two things. Huh. I wonder what that last one is. Um... Yeah. So... It's the cheat shot. I'm guessing it's just... Uh, I'm going to actually put you guys to default. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Good, good. Okay. So, what? let's do research. But, like, you can really feel like, okay, cool. I have gotten to the end. There's no, like, mixed feeling. Like, oh, is, is this really the end of it? Like, you can do it's... I'll make you both you, you've team. gone through. And one of the, uh, cool things about it is... Ooh, got an elixir. Damn, these are really good weapons. Holy shit. I'm yeah, they clip them to, taste my justice. to some people. Taste my justice. But, uh... This is the power of but justice. the interesting thing yeah, is, dude. uh, uh, the... This game has more chapters than most yeah, Discovery dude. games. I wanna see? Uh, most end... Because we're at, like, 16, essentially. Holy shit. <laughs> Sunday, what the hell, man? God, that... Son of a whore. Wanna see? God, Legendary Land, you're awesome. Yeah, dude! I'm just... Overlord Armor. Oh my god, these are... I'm liking this. Ah! Uh, son of a... They're not gonna swear. Um... So let's see if I got any better fists. No. I know I got better. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Put, put that on. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna swear. Yeah, fuck, yeah. <laughs> uh I'm not not good at sticking to what I say for myself. Yeah, just put all that stuff on. So this is what I do when I, uh, I just go through, see that there are pluses, and then I put them on, because the better these guys are, the 
easier it'll be for them to get through. Um, uh, through expeditions. And I like how he's still... Like, he just has a lot of health. He still just has a shit ton of health. And that's all. Even those aptitudes... Like, all these guys' aptitudes are super high. These are all really good pennies. Like, and otherwise, like, I would love it. But, you know, there's not really any point. Oh yeah, because nothing is gonna get you better stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that was dumb of me to get confused on. Out of happiness. But, uh, by increasing just generally, like, the, like, how much they do, like, their damage and whatnot, you can just make it easier on yourself in the future by, uh, Welcome! by giving them the better stuff you get through maps that you don't plan on equipping for yourself. And I didn't want to buy, I wanted to sell. So, I am not going to use, um, Y select. I'm not gonna use those. Sell all those. I might use those later. I might use those later. Uh, I could just teach these to people. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll just tell you guys. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, episode 38. I'll do some stuff off screen in terms of selling items and whatnot. Awesome. And I'm doing it right now. Doing it right now. Giant killer squad. Get the hell out of there. Just gonna do that right now. Not even not even gonna wait. Gonna go into this squad. Put Metalia in it. Even though she no, uh, she was in the interrogation squad. Okay, she'll be in there for a little bit. I might grind some mana. Um um, yeah, so I'm probably going to grind some mana for some people. Uh, now, and I might also grind some Carabold stuff. I'm going to sell stuff. I'll see you guys in episode 39. I hope you all have a very nice day. <laughs>